Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about uh, Quick Labs. Basically, as you can see on the screen, this is for AWS students and actually for anybody who wants to understand the deep knowledge on the services offered by AWS. The good thing about the Quick Labs is it's absolutely free, so you don't have to you you have to uh, definitely buy some credits so last year uh, during the uh, I, I believe it's a 10th anniversary of AWS so they had given all the labs completely for free so uh, now probably you'll have to buy some credits in order to go for an advanced lab but still you can uh, take some of the labs uh, completely for free so what is Quick Labs? Basically, this is, as you can see, real training, real time, and real environments. So this is a lab uh, which is designed for you in a real environment. And they will also give you a training, a deep training on the services offered by them. Apart from that, once you complete the tutorial, you will be uh, assigned with some of the tasks like uh, Let's say I take an EC2 computer and networking course. So they'll allocate three minutes of time. In the three minutes of time, you should set up an EC2 cluster with a load balancer. So, so this is really amazing. And it's like you will definitely get upgrade your skills and understand these services in even more you know, deeper way. As you can see here, you can see the hands-on practices available and there are some of the new quests which has come so basically you can create an account let me log in with my id okay so let me go to the home dashboard of my profile Hold on a moment. Okay. So uh, this is your, uh, you know, the dashboard which will tell you how many labs you have completed. It says I have completed 62 labs and quest. So what is the difference between labs and quest? So lab is something you can say it as only on EC2 there is one lab which will cover the end-to-end -end topic on EC2. So when it when I say quest, let's say I'll take this part compute and networking. So basically it will have a group of labs clustered called as quest. You can see here um, computer networking. The first lab is creating an Amazon EC2 instance then uh, the microsoft windows or linux then load balancing high availability and so on so these are the complete group of labs which is called as compute and networking quest so basically once you take up this quest you will have to write few exams here so once you do it you will get a right mark saying that you have successfully done that let me go back to the home page Okay, as you can see here, I have taken it on the last year. So I think now they have added some more services for this. Basically, you start with compute and networking, then you go on storage, CDN, then solution architect associate. I'll tell you what exactly is this. In case if you are planning for certification, so this associate and professional, these two will help you to you know get an hands-on experience and how the questions can come up in the your certification exam so this will give you a grip uh, and confidence to attend a certification exam and you can check your skills as well so i started with computer networking i went on storage and cd and solution architect the big data and so on so i have completed so far um, the professional one 
along with this uh, the good thing is as i said earlier it's absolutely free and once you complete your quest or labs you can actually add it in your linkedin to show your hard work so as i said last year the aws was celebrating their anniversary and that time it was completely free to take all the quests so i have taken as much as possible so now you may still take some of these labs for free you can i'll share you the link in the description of, of this video so i hope uh, this is an informational video for you so please like and subscribe if you want some more thank you